It's a terrible thing what happened to your daughter, man. Terrible. But my son didn't do it. Why do you... She was assaulted. She and Ethan argued. I didn't like the way it went down. So you admit Ethan's capable of beating up my daughter? No, that's not what I said. Look, Ethan knows that I would stand with him whether he did it or not, so he has no reason to lie to me. When he tells me he's innocent, I believe him. Christina has even less reason to lie. I'm not saying she's lying. Of course not, but she's traumatized. Maybe she's confused. Maybe she's afraid. Christina said it was Ethan. No hesitations. Well, she's wrong, Sonny. Somebody else. You need to sig the dogs on somebody else and not scapegoat my son. You have to believe your son. Protect him. I get that. But when I see my little girl, who looks like she was beat up with a baseball bat, and she tells me it was Ethan, I trust that what she's saying is the truth. hospital and I could not believe there's my little girl it's a whole side of her face bruised swollen like she'd gone 10 rounds with a heavyweight lucky is the one who questioned her he was very kind to her and he asked her point blank who did this to her and she said loud and clear Ethan did it he beat her Beat her, beat her over and over. Christina has no reason to lie, Luke. I'm not saying she's lying. I'm just saying maybe she's confused. Look, it was a very traumatizing event. And she did have an argument with Ethan earlier in the evening. And it's easy to see how she could confuse the two events. Forensics identified Ethan's skin under Christina's fingernails. Yeah, well, that only proves that she scratched him. Now, he told me when he went to pick her up to take her to the hospital, she was frightened, and she lashed out. You know what? He's good at, you know, telling stories. He's a con man. What do you expect? He's telling the truth, Sonny. No, no, he didn't do this. You need to find out who really did, and I'll help you. I will help you find the guy. I know who did it! I believe my daughter. Well, she's With all due respect, hey, listen. All due respect, Luke, justice is justice. I understand. I understand that you feel the need to do something, and I know that sometimes any action feels better than doing nothing, but not when an innocent man could get hurt. An innocent man won't be hurt. I'm warning you, Sonny. Ethan didn't do this. He's innocent. Don't. Don't you touch my son. It was trial. How did it go? Yeah, it was fine. I mean, I was just thinking about you a lot and wondering how you're doing and what I could do to help you. There's something you could do. I don't want Ethan to be punished for what happened to me. Can't let a man get away with beating a woman. Dad. You asked how you could help me, and this is how. You're not thinking straight right now, that's why. Please don't treat me like a kid. I get that you're mad and you want Ethan to be punished. And Mom's mad too, and she wants Ethan to be prosecuted, but no one has even bothered to ask what I want. Okay, sweetheart, what do you want? I want it to be over. I don't want to have to go through a 
trial. <laughs> I don't want Ethan to die because of me. <laughs> Where do you come up with the stuff, sweetheart? Oh, please don't act like that's not what you're thinking. I don't want Ethan to be punished. You sound just like your grandmother. What do you mean? My mother used to get beat up by my stepfather, and she used to end up in, in the hospital, OK? And no, no matter what, she would protect him. No matter how much he hurt her. <laughs> you never told me. I don't like talking about it, you know? Then you do know how I feel. Every time I talk about it, it's like reliving it. <laughs> Okay, listen I'm to me. I'm sorry about what happened to your mom. And that you had to go through that with her. But you asked how you can help me. I just want this to be over. Please. How'd it go in court? Oh, Diane seems to think that we came out ahead with Dante's testimony. Yeah, how's that? Well, he's very careful. He seems like he was, you know, being a little bit protective. And with a cop like Dante, you know, it shows that I'm worth protecting. You don't think he's generous? Sonny, to me, Dante's a traitor. To you, he's your flesh and blood. There's not much middle ground. That's the way it is with me and Luke. I mean, he, he's defending his son. But to me, Ethan will always be a, the bastard who beat down my daughter. Can't tolerate that. Even if it cost me a, a lifelong friendship. Hey. My heart to see Christina suffer. She doesn't want any more questions. She doesn't want to relive it. She doesn't want charges brought, even if it means Ethan walks. If you talk to Alexis. She wants to prosecute. What about Luke? Well, you know what? He thinks he, he, he backed me off, but he didn't. I want justice. In one way or another, I'm gonna get it.